Hi there and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to have some fun with music and language. Who is your favorite artist? Is it Elvis? Is it Taylor Swift? Is it the Beatles? Comment and let me know. Hey, did you know that many English expressions use music to talk about everyday life? No? Well, stick around because today we're going to dive into some of these awesome phrases that will help you sound like a native. And that's how you get to C1, C2 advanced level by incorporating these little gems into your speaking. So the American poet Henry Wadsworth Longfellow once wrote that music is the universal language of all people. Now that may be true, and it's amazing how music related phrases have found their way into our daily conversations. Let's start with one of my favorite phrases, which is music to our ears. That's a lovely phrase to hear because this means that what we're being told makes us really happy. It sounds like music also, doesn't it? Music to my ears. So imagine going to the doctor or you are in hospital and the doctor says, you're healthy now, you are cured, you can leave the hospital. How do you respond? That's music to my ears. Finally, I can get good food. Have you ever been in hospital? What are your thoughts about food? So, wouldn't that be great? Now, speaking of good news, what happens when you have to deal with the consequences of your actions? You've got to, yep, face the music. So imagine a child who breaks a window, right? And he's like, uh oh, when my parents get home, I'm going to have to face the music. But that's a phrase we can all relate to, right? Facing the music, the consequences of our actions. Now let's switch things up with change your tune. What does this mean, change your tune? You've changed your opinion about something. So, for those of you who don't know this, I am South African, but I live in Antalya in Turkey and I spend a lot of time in Italy. And I've always kind of complained about South Africa, probably not had the most positive comments, but I'm back here on the mothership, as I like to say. And I am loving it. I'm enjoying it. I'm having fun with the people. The best thing about Africa or South Africa are the people. And there's this energy, there's this rhythm to the country that you cannot find anywhere else. So a lot of people might be saying, hey, Nas, you've changed your tune. Once upon a time, you spoke about crime in South Africa, and now you're talking about how wonderful everything is. You've changed your tune. Why have you changed your tune? Well, I think it's because I have a different perspective because I have a different appreciation and maybe I'm older and wiser. I hope so. Now let's get back to other examples with change one's tune. So, for example, I used to hate spinach, but now I eat it all the time. Like, wow, you've really changed your tune. So that's quite a turnaround, change one's tune. And it's a fun one, play it by ear. And this means you don't follow a plan, but you instead decide what to do as the situation unfolds. Now, I heard this phrase last night. One of my cousins said, for the weekend, we'll just play it by ear. And I said, actually not. Unfortunately, I'm somebody who likes to make plans, who likes a schedule, who's quite organized. And I think it might have something to do with the fact that I work online and I work in multiple time zones. So playing things by ear doesn't really work well for me. But it is the South African mentality. They play everything by ear. And they also have a lovely phrase, which is now, now. So now, now is more urgent than now. So I am I will be there now, now. It's the only country in the world where I've heard now, now. So 
Let's go back to play it by ear. As you can see, they're pretty relaxed, pretty zen. I'll see you on Monday. I'll see you on Tuesday. I'll see you in March. <laughs> we'll play it by ear. Oh my gosh, I hope they don't watch this video because if they do, they're probably going to block me on WhatsApp. So let's get back to our music phrases. So maybe you're chatting with a friend and you say, well, when I get to your city, we don't really have to make plans about what we're going to do. We'll play it by ear. And for some people, they will say, that sounds good. Me, not so much. Now that we've learned these phrases, let's do a quick exercise to recap and to match the definitions. Are you ready? Okay. So let's match the following phrases with their meanings. Please comment in the chat. Are you ready? So music to one's ears. Also repeat after me for the pronunciation. Music to one's ears. Does it mean a, pleasing words you hear, or B, music you like. Now, let's move on to face the music. Face the music. Repeat after me. Face the music. Does it mean to change your opinion? Or does it mean to accept the consequences of your actions? Comment in the chat below. And if you said B, you are a superstar. You don't even need me or this video. But please do like and subscribe if you are going to run away. But wait, we've got another one coming up. Play it by ear. Does it mean A, to plan something in advance, or B, to decide what to do about a situation while it's happening? Now, pause the video, think about your answers. Got it? Well, let's check those answers. How many did you get correct? Let me know in the chat. Music to one's ears was A. Pleasing words you hear. You got an increase. Music to my ears. Face the music B. To accept the consequences of your actions. If you said that, well done. Play it by ear to decide what to do about a situation while it's happening play it by so how did you do how many did you get correct let me know in the chat now i'd like to just talk about these music phrases with you i want to discuss some of these questions these are questions you can use to discuss with your friends or hey join the conversation in the comments below so which of the expressions in the video did you find interesting and do you agree that music is the universal language of all people? When was the last time you had to face the music for something you did? So when was the last time you had to face the consequences? Yeah. Do you often play things by ear or do you prefer to have a plan in place? I'm going to say I'm the latter. I like to have plans. And a really nice one. Are there any music related expressions in your country i'd love to know if we have something in common and there's a couple other things i'd like to talk to you about today would you describe yourself as musical are you someone who likes music who loves music i have friends who love having music playing all the time me not so much and do you play an instrument and if so how long have you been playing so I bought an electric piano because it's something that I really want to do and learn, but I haven't been dedicating enough time to it. So it's something that I need to focus on in the future. So are there any musical instruments you wish you could play? And when I asked, are you musical? Do you like music? What kind of music do you like? I have to say I'm a huge Andrea Bocelli fan. Um, I also love pop. I love that Megan Taylor Versace song. And I have to say here in South Africa, there's always music playing in the malls, in the shopping centers. It's actually quite a nice vibe. Now, what musical instruments do you think sound the most beautiful? Do you like the piano? Do you like the guitar? Is there something else? And 
who are the most talented musicians you know? Would you say that it's the singers like Michael Jackson or is it more Andrea Bocelli? Or do you think that Taylor Swift writes the best lyrics? There's no judgment here. It's your opinion. So share your thoughts in the comments and let's get a great conversation going. There are no right answers. There are no wrong answers. It's just your perspective. Now, before I leave you today, here are some fun facts about music and the phrases that we have covered today. Did you know? Did you know that learning to play an instrument can improve your cognitive skills and your memory? So not only do these musical phrases spice up your English, but music itself can make you smarter. I think there's the story about playing Mozart when a woman is pregnant, helps the baby have a higher IQ. What are your thoughts on that? Now, I'd just like to go over a few more examples to really nail these phrases. So the first one that we covered was music to one's ears. Let's start with music to your ears. You applied for a job and you're waiting, you're waiting, you're standing by the phone and you're waiting, you're checking your emails and finally you get the news. You got the job. That's definitely music to your ears. If I heard that I had won the lottery, that would be music to my ears. What would be music to your ears? Our second phrase was face the music. So you've forgotten to do your homework, uh-oh, and you go to school and your teacher asks for it. The teachers always ask for homework. Well, you'll have to face the music, right, and explain why you didn't do it. So when was the last time you had to face the music? If you're a student, I'm going to guess you face the music pretty often. Our third phrase was change your tune. So let's imagine someone who's always complained about running and jogging and working out. Me, me, that's me. But after trying it for a month, they start to enjoy it. Wow, they've changed their tune. Now, speaking of this, like I said, I'm now based in South Africa for a short while, but it's my intention to go running every morning. The only time I'm active is when I'm in a different country. So I'm going to start running. No, I'm lying. I'm not going to run. I'm going to walk every morning. But hey, I've changed my tune. I've gone from couch potato, sedentary lifestyle to walking at sunrise. Yeah, okay. I've changed my tune. Our fourth music phrase was play it by ear. So you're on a road trip and you have no set destination. So guess what? You've decided to play it by ear. You brave, especially here in South Africa. So you just stop whenever you see something interesting. And that's the beauty of spontaneity. When you play it by ear, you are spontaneous. Spontaneity, it's a difficult word. Let's practice it, spontaneity. Quick quiz, quick quiz before we wrap this up. If someone gives you great news, what phrase would you use to describe it? A, face the music, or B, music to my ears. The lottery, music to my ears. Do a word association, image association, it really helps. If you have to deal with the consequences of something, what do you have to do? Do you have to change your tune or do you have to be face the music? Face the music, good job. And if you decide to handle something without a plan, what are you doing? No plan, spontaneity. A, play it by ear or B, music to my ears. Yes, play it by ear. Type your answers in the comments below. And remember, you can use these phrases in your daily conversations to sound more like a native English speaker. And you're learning these phrases from me, Nas. I'm a native English speaker. I'm SALTA certified. I have 12 years of international experience. I'm not an influencer, TikToker, YouTuber who's just rolling out content. I'm an educator. So thank you for watching everyone. Don't forget to like, 
subscribe and hit that bell icon so you don't miss out our next fun lesson. Until then, keep playing it by ear if that suits you and enjoy the music of life. Hey, did you know, before I go, that the phrase music to my ears dates back to the early 19th century. It's been around for a long, long time, making people smile with good news. So my wish for you is that you receive good news, news that is music to your ears. And hey, if you like and subscribe, that will be music to my ears. Thank you for joining me today. I'm your host, Nas. Ciao for now.